What's up anime fans and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super episode review. This week's episode was kind of kooky, funny, slash kind of what? But it started out with Goku and Krillin actually spending some time together and Krillin wanted to know how strong Goku becomes so he proposed, hey, let's um see how strong you are by punching me in the face. That is the last person that needs to punch Krillin in the damn face. Just for the record. Now, Krillin powers up to take Goku's punch and Goku went in, looked like he didn't hold anything back and straight decked him. Now, what's funny is Krillin went skyrocketing like he was in a damn pinball machine and was going right toward a wall and Goku used instant transmission to try to catch him but like Goku fashion he didn't catch him it was just for the plot of funny and Krillin runs straight into it and literally just peels off Goku um, <laughs> takes him back and he's getting patched up by 18 now 18 is like <sighs> What are you doing? Why are you taking a punch from Goku? What? Are, like, come on now. Like, you need to leave them years behind. Because even before Krillin took that punch, he was talking about how the gap between Goku and him has been widened even more. I'm like, look, there was a gap from the beginning. Just, you didn't know it yet. Now, after that, it goes straight into the whole... Vegeta wanting to train, wanting to be stronger, wanting to be Kakarot. Now, the funny thing about that is, is that Vegeta is more of the serious, hardcore character. And if you've seen my top anime, like top Dragon Ball Z characters, then you know he's on that list. Now, I think that anytime they do Vegeta, like funny, like for comedy, they do it really, really well. So, Vegeta comedy is our like I'm up for that every time I see it, and that's what this episode really was about. Like him basically trying to get Whis to train him, and he goes out and like takes him to all kinds of restaurants. And Bulma's was already like, "Hi, been there," you know. He goes to another, "I been there too," and it's just that whole little cycle. And then he's finally like, "You know what? What have you ate?" And <laughs> You know, we is just like, mm, you know, starts naming off all the stuff he's ate. And Vegeta's like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She's been lying to you. The thing that she eats every week that she literally can't go a week without eating, she's kept from you. It's the most delicious thing in the world. The most delicious food ever. And it's a couple of noodles. I ain't gonna lie. They're pretty good, though. But, after that, like, Whis takes a damn slurp of it, and that is a rat. Like, he is like, yeah, we, we gonna train, we can do this, we gonna help you surpass Goku. But, the proposal that he made was, are you gonna be the next, you know, are you gonna be the next god of destruction? Now, that's the only way he was gonna train him, is if he took up that position, like, after. So, I guess and literally be the next God of Destruction, which kind of brings me to a whole nother point of a whole nother video that I kind of want to do now. What the hell is Weeks? So, yeah, that's that's weird, but there's a whole lot of anime action, kind of, like, it was like the comedy action type thing, and the funniest shit was ever whenever you see, um, Vegeta try and like literally crack an egg and he literally cannot do it because he just sucks at it and he doesn't know how to control his own power. But that was absolutely hilarious. Um, this whole episode, it was very comical and if you really needed that like laugh, then this is what that episode was intended for. It was straight for you. I would give it a 8 out of 10. Obviously because, well, Vegeta and... Weiss. I want to. I just want to know what the hell Weiss is. Comment in the comment section right now if you know what Weiss is. Because I don't know. But go ahead, thumbs this video up, share it with everybody, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I am IC Josh and I'm out, guys. Peace.